Nearly three years after the defeat of the Islamic State group in Iraq, these Yazidis still live in camps. Many still waiting to hear back from their loved ones who were kidnapped by the group in 2014. When IS attacked, children were burned. People died. We will never forget. We saw them take children and we couldn't do anything about it. Those who could escape IS now deal with the trauma of living in camps. I lost my sister and mother. I lost my cousins. We haven't seen our families for years, and there is nothing we can do about it. According to the Office of Kidnapped Yazidis in Iraq, 2,760 Yazidi women and children are still missing. Fanny Sleman is one of the many Yazidi mothers with a missing child. She says she has not heard from her 25-year-old daughter, Ida, and six other family members since IS kidnapped them from the Sinjar region in 2014. It was a black day for all Yazidis, not only for me. The daughters of many Yazidis are still missing. Seven members of my family, including my daughter and father, are still missing, and no one has come to help us. Since we fled from Mosul, we haven't heard from them. <laughs> Making the problem worse, many Yazidis are unable to return to their homes because of the lasting destruction and insecurity. We've been living under these tenants for eight years. Diseases have spread. The worst has happened to us. We lost our homes, our livelihoods, and our honor. IS attacked the Yazidi community in Iraq on August 3, 2014, killing and kidnapping thousands of them. Members of a United Nations team investigating the attacks said they had gathered clear and convincing evidence that the systematic destruction of the Yazidi people by the Islamic State was genocide. For Snur Karimi Suleimania, Kurdistan region,